anywhere you can plant a container. Philip Watson is back with us <laughs> from Cottage Farms. And Philip, this is such an exciting opportunity because who doesn't love fresh blackberries and raspberries? We grew up with them. We sure did. My <laughs> grandmother had these growing, uh, she had blackberries growing uh, wild all over her property. We ate so much blackberry cobbler in the summertime, I, I, I was about to pop, right? <laughs> Turned into a blackberry. So you get, you're getting two plants here. One of them is a blackberry plant. One of them is a raspberry plant, and the best thing about the blackberries you and I remember picking them when we were little, they were always full of thorns. They were. Different. Look, who could do this without crying? Right. That was it. This is what I call no more tears blackberries. You get big blackberries, no thorns whatsoever. You also get the delicious red raspberry. These are big. By the way, both of these are bred for the home gardener, especially for you because they're tidy, they're delicious, and they fruit twice, not just once like those wild ones we picked. Well, here is the thing. When you order this, we will not ship this to you until it's safe to plant in your area. Correct. That is the first thing you should know. And then secondly, if you plant them right after you get them, the first time you'll see fruit is long about June, is that right? That's correct. And the second time you'll see it will be long about September in the fall, right? Uh, late August into September. And believe it or not, but believe it, these are guaranteed for a full year. These are the sizes you get. This is the raspberry. This is the blackberry. Wait, this is the magic moment. And here's the blackberry. Here's the raspberry. This is how big they get the first year. They're awesome. And they're perennials, Philip, which means they come back every year, right? They come back every single year. You can grow them in large containers if you want. You can got, have these delicious blackberries. And I mean, they are delicious. You have got to have the tasty things to make the right cobblers, Absolutely. the right ingredients. Or if you're going to make a, a mixed berry crisp or you're going to do all those kinds of things. You know, nice. I love to in the summertime make the ones I remember growing up, the blackberry cobbler, my grandmother, my other grandmother made peach cobbler. But then if you want to do a mixed berry cobbler or imagine going out in the summer months and picking your fresh berries to go into your yogurt or into your cereal in the morning. Indeed, and I love it. I had raspberries yesterday. I was in Palm Beach yesterday. I had raspberries for lunch. I bet you with did. With raspberry sorbet. Uh -huh. But it, the Freedom Blackberry, it's the first one to, to have the fruit on the brand new wood. Okay. And so you've got the two crops there, and then you got the Caroline strawberry that makes the uh, raspberry that gets the beautiful, beautiful red raspberries uh, fruiting in summer and also early summer and late summer. You don't have to worry about spraying these. Exceptional fruit size and flavor. The plants themselves are tidy and tasty. They are tidy and tasty. And I love that we can plant these in containers because you know what? While I have a little space in my yard, I don't think my HOA actually allows me to grow vegetables or fruit in my yard because I think that's probably against a rule. And secondly, um, I'm not sure that I want to get involved with something that's going to sprawl out all over the lawn. I want yes. to be able to have something that is, to your point, tidy, Yes. in a container, easy to maintain, easy to water, Correct. easy to harvest. And that's what makes these containers so great. Imagine being able to enjoy berries twice in this first year. And here's the best news. Come next year, they'll come back again. Indeed. And probably more robust the next year, right? More robust, but also if you've even just got a deck area or a patio area, they're perfect. One each in a whiskey barrel. And what I do is I just put mine in a tomato cage because that then when I want, if I ever want to trim it back, I just trim it back to the cage in the fall. Oh, that's great. And that way you don't have to wonder how far do I cut it back? Just cut it back to the cage. Exactly. So get those, those tomato cages that, you know, fit right down into the planter. Yes. Now look at these beautiful photographs. Imagine having these plump, succulent, sweet, and slightly tart berries every time you want to be able to go out and grab a bowl full. That's what makes these so great. And knowing that you grown them there yourself, you know exactly what you've used to help them grow and whether or not you have sprayed them. You know, when you buy berries and you buy them in the marketplace, you always have to come home and wash them. You know, even when they say pre-washed. Wash. I just can't wash them enough. Yeah, though. exactly. So this is what it's all about. You're growing them in your own yard. Now, Philip, I do have this question for yes. you. A couple questions. You know, okay. I always like to ask this. Full sun, part sun. Full sun. Full sun. Yes. Um, do they like a lot of water or a little bit? Um, Evenly moist. Evenly moist. Yes. And do you recommend any food? Yes, we offer this special fertilizer right here for fruits and vegetables. It has 40 gallons worth here. Just drop this in a gallon of water, and I fertilize mine about once every two to three weeks with this. And Never that is expires. 30 extra dollars. You'll talk to your operators about that. And as Philip mentioned, there's 40 gallons of that. Yes. Real quick question, since we have you because you're the horticulturist okay. and you're our expert. If we use that, do we use that food in addition to watering or in place of watering? Um, you, 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 well, you water in between, so every two to three weeks, but I would water these plants about once every four to five days to get them established. And how often for the food? 
the food once every two to three weeks. Got it. Yeah. Okay, good. But deal. also, to, just to give you an idea, is that you'll get a growing guide. We offer a growing guide for every plant that we offer. So I keep my growing guides with my fertilizers underneath the sink in case I ever need to reference. And if you lose it, Give us a call. We've got answers. Take a look at our shipping map. Remember, we will not ship any flower before it's time or in this case plant. So talk to us about this. Well, if you want to know when they're going to come, here's a good heads up. Take a look at our zone map. Pick your area of the country out off to the right hand side of your appropriate box or the dates when the plants were shipped. Nothing comes until it's perfectly safe to plant in your area and first time gardeners or people who've had bad luck. Gardening Made Easy by Cottage Farms, we've got your back because we're not happy if you're not happy. And we warrant our perennials for a full year. That's this offer and annuals for 90 days from time of shipment. If for any reason you're dissatisfied, Cottage Farms will replace your plant with a similar or comparable one at no charge. If your placement's not available or it's too late in the season to ship, ships the following shipping season. And if you're looking for some, some fun recipes that you can make with all these berries, search David's recipes on QVC.com. Go into the dessert section. And we'll check you out. We'll hook you up with lots of great <laughs> recipes. And if you have my second cookbook, I have my grandma's blackberry cobbler recipe Ooh, in there. I'm which looking. is really great. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Stay on the line for this. We're very busy, and an awful lot of you are going to be.